I'm not going to hold back. Well then, go ahead and draw. It looks like you're up first. We're even. We'll have to redraw. I'll go first then. Mirror! Done it. Ah, oh, crap. <laughs> Looks like I win this time. <laughs> Please go easy on me. Shall we draw then? Oh, it looks as though the first move is yours. I'm gonna use a bolt card. Use a bolt card. Sorry, I'm using a mirror. Oh no, this could be trouble. Oh no, this could be trouble. Ouch, I wasn't expecting that. Oh no, this could be trouble. It looks as though I win this time. If we have to. Draw a card. <laughs> Go ahead, then. We have the same score. Let's redraw. I'll be going first. Take this. Take this. <laughs> now you've done it. What an impertinent little... We have the same score. Let's redraw. <laughs> Go ahead, then. <laughs> now you've done it. We have the same score. Let's redraw. I'll be going first. My victory was assured from the start. Let the battle begin. We draw here, right? Guess we'd better draw again. Guess we'd better draw again. I'm first. Take this. Take this. Ouch. Ouch. Guess we'd better draw again. You're first, I guess. Ouch. Guess we'd better draw again. I'm first. Crap. Crap. Mm, guess I lost. Lord Eusus, welcome back to Berehar. It's a pleasure to see you again. Amazing. <laughs> I can't believe all the station employees would abandon their duties to come and welcome him. He's a real VIP. I've returned here as a student of Thor's military academy to conduct a field study. I believe you were informed that this manner of excessive welcome is neither necessary nor desired. Were you not? Well, well yes, but... You're a child of the Elberea household. If anything, we should be apologizing for not giving you an even greater welcome. Please, allow me to carry your luggage. 
we would be honored to carry the belongings of your classmates as well. <sighs> that won't be necessary. Huh? Lord Rufus? Uh... R Rufus? What? My beloved brother, it's a pleasure to see you again. To think it's been three months. Where did the time go? I wasn't expecting to reunite with you so soon, but I'm delighted to have the opportunity. As am I. You seem well. I take it these are your fellow members of Class 7? Yes, that's correct. You know about us? Of course. I've read all about you in my brother's letters. Where are my manners, though? My name is Rufus Alvarea. Eusis is my younger brother. You needn't hide your shot. It would come as no surprise at all to learn that my brother has never once mentioned me. He is, after all, quite easily embarrassed. Th that's not... He's being toyed with. I can hardly believe my ears. What happened to the arrogant young upstart we've come to know and mostly tolerate? Ah, but I digress. This is no time for idle chatter. I came to escort you to your lodgings for the weekend. B wait, you don't mean... <laughs> the car is parked outside. Welcome to the verdant city of Bereahard. I hope you enjoy your stay, ladies and gentlemen of Class 7. See? So the one responsible for selecting our tasks this time around was... Indeed. I selected them on behalf of my father. Allow me to present you with this. Thank you. It really is a fascinating coincidence. I never imagined my younger brother would become classmates with the son of Lord Schwarzer. Huh? You know my father? Certainly. Baron Theo Schwarzer is an old acquaintance of mine. Many years ago, I accompanied him to a falconry competition held in the suburbs of Heimdall. He taught me much about the practice and its etiquette. Why, that must have been ten years ago now. Is he doing well these days? <laughs> yes, he's quite well. And still just as fond of hunting as ever. Splendid, splendid. <laughs> and you must be the son of Governor Regnitz, no? That's correct. I'm surprised you knew. Indeed. I encounter him quite often when taking care of official matters in the capital. Though our positions may be different, he has given me excellent advice in the past. I feel it must be fate that you two would end up in my younger brother's class. Please do try and get along with him. Uh, uh, I will consider the possibility with an open mind. <laughs> Wonderful. And I would be remiss if I were not to acknowledge our two beautiful ladies. No doubt your presence brings a touch of elegance to my younger brother's academic life. Oh, I'm honored you would say so. It's nothing like that. Can we please stop discussing me? And when you say lodgings, you can't possibly be referring to... <laughs> Need you even ask? Naturally, you'll all be staying at the Alborea family mansion. But... <laughs> I jest. Father's instructions were that I should do with you as I wish. So, considering the circumstances of your visit, I've had a hotel room prepared. That way you'll be able to concentrate more easily on your field study, no? Oh, thank you. Truly appreciate it. I'm afraid we'll need to end our charming repartee here, however. For I can see your hotel coming into view now.
This seems to be the city's noble quarter. No wonder most of these houses look so overblown and excessive. Is this the way to the city's airport? It is, though I doubt we'll have any reason to go there.
This street seems kind of different from the others. This is Artisan Street, where craftsmen and merchants ply their trades. Very well. Go. 
Serve as your opponent. There! Another chance! Nothing! I'll handle it. Target box! Yeah! My turn. I'll handle it. Target's eliminated. Right! A bridge, huh? Sarbri. for now. You're in my way. Okay. Target box. Very well. Go! That's a chance! Bro. That one alright. Oh, a lake. <laughs> it looks so pretty.
like it dates back to the Middle Ages. It is. It's been there for several hundred years. Very well. I will okay. serve as your opponent. Here we go. Yeah, here. My turn. What a waste of time. Let's Here we go. There we go. My turn. Yeah. <laughs> Let's Here we go. Let's get over. There. This one's dangerous. My turn. Stay on your toes. I'll run. Okay. Target box. Yeah. Hear me. Thanks. Very well. Argus, activate. Huh. Hostile 
I'll handle this. Combat. Here we go. There. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. My turn. Hostiles neutralized. Done. This looks like quite an old road, though it does seem well reinforced. Yep. Looks like a lot of armored vehicles come this. <sighs> my turn. There. Okay. It's my turn here. Very well. I'll handle it. Target box. Here we go. Okay. It's safe for now. Bring it on. I'll handle this. My turn. There. I'll handle it. It's my turn. Yeah. Okay. My turn. What a waste of time. Let's go.
Don't let it intimidate Go. you. All right. My turn. He got okay. It's my turn. How about this? Now. There. Now. My turn. There. Very well. Okay. Leaning to Now. I'll handle this. It's my turn. Yeah. Arcus, yes. Go. There. Right, eat that. Very well. Okay. Yeah. Oh, we should be safe now. Making progress. <laughs> I did it. That should suffice. Success. <sighs> that was rough. Yeah, but we still won. Only just. What the hell is wrong with you, Eustace Alborea? Why did you sever the link? Don't even think of trying to place the blame on me, Machius Regnitz. You were the one who severed the link. You said you'd cooperate, but you just couldn't do it, could you? You couldn't bring yourself to stoop to the same level as a commoner like me! You nobles truly are beyond redemption! You're utterly hopeless, through and through! Oh, you asinine little... Why can't you see that all of this is born from your own prejudice and narrow-mindedness? That's enough! Please, calm down! Stay out of this! This is our problem! Why don't we settle this once and for all? Let me show you how much better than you I really am. Reading! Here we... Nice work. Reen, are you alright? Hey, are you injured? I'm fine. It's just a scratch. I was so sure we'd killed it, though. Guess I shouldn't have let my guard down. I shouldn't have either. But it's down for good this time. <clears throat> I should administer first aid on that scratch. I'll need you to take off your jacket. Mm, that feels much better. Thanks, Emma. <laughs> You're welcome. I'm happy I was able to put what we learned from instructor Beatrix's classes to good use. That was last week, right? I'm sorry, Rena. I... It's our fault that you were injured. Oh, don't worry about it. It wouldn't have happened if I'd been paying more attention. I'm just glad neither of you were hurt. Why are you so... You should rest that shoulder for a while. Yes, absolutely. I'd strongly recommend you fall back from the front line for the time being. Thanks. I will. All right, let's get moving. We need to tell the Provincial Army about the monster we just defeated. Yeah. I suppose it's not a done deal until we file our report. Our Ox Fort isn't much farther across the canyon. We may need to hurry if we wish to be back in Berea Hard before nightfall, however. Let's go. Hey, Reen? Huh? What is it? Uh, I just... Look so real and curie aeum. What? What did you just do? Nothing. I just wanted to check on your bandage. Good, good. It seems fine. But please try your best to keep your shoulder firm. The less it moves, the better. You don't want your injury getting worse now. Uh, okay. I could swear I felt something warm flowing into my body. Maybe I'm just imagining things.
You're in my way. Okay. Target box. Gotcha. My turn. Okay. Here now. There. <laughs> Try not to. That's right. Here. Very well. It's my turn. Okay. Target's eliminated. Very well, I it's will my service turn. your opponent. How about this? Very well. Um, it's my turn. Yeah. My turn. Very well. <laughs> I'll put that. Treasure chest. Very well, I will okay. serve as your opponent. There you go. I'll handle this. Go! I help! Yeah! Yeah! Ha. Leave it to me! My turn. Okay. Hostiles neutralized. Is Orox Fort? 
one of the Kreutzen Provincial Army's premier bases. Not how I was expecting it to look. They modified an older fort. A lot. Something wrong, Yusis? No, not at all. Let's go and give our report on the monster we defeated. Hmm? Isn't that... It, it's... a freight train from Rayahard? Looks like it's carrying tanks. Pretty heavily armored ones at that. Those are the latest models from the Reinford Company. They're called Oxen. Uh, how? Come on. We have things to do. Gosh, why does he have to be so... Ah! He's right, though. We really should keep moving. Yeah. there. Wait, aren't those uniforms? We're members of Thor's Military Academy, Class 7. We completed a monster extermination task on your behalf and have come to give our report. Oh, so you're the ones. We've been expecting you. You'll forgive my curtness. I just didn't think you'd have someone so young with you as well. <laughs> um, so we were able to defeat the monster in question. Do you require a written report or is verbal confirmation okay? Oh no, that's fine. You were really able to beat that thing, though? Somehow or another, yes. It wasn't easy, but we managed. Huh, not bad. Not bad at all. We probably should have taken care of it ourselves, but it was a pretty dexterous thing, so we just kind of let it be. It wasn't tough enough to cause any of us any harm, as long as we were in our armored cars when we encountered it. But still, it took a bit of convincing for us to ask a group of students to fight it, as you might imagine. I can understand that. Well, it provided a good opportunity for us to test our skills. Hmm? Wait. Oh! Lord Eusis, what brings you... Ah, th that uniform... Are you...? Correct. I've returned to Bereahard as part of a field study for the Academy. I'm here as a student, not as a member of the Alborea household. Please treat me accordingly, the same as you would my classmates. Uh, as you wish. As you wish, Lord Eusis. Wow. <laughs> It's like even the provincial army will miss a chance to bend over backwards for him. I would like to know, however, about the contents of that train that just passed by here. Ah, you saw it? Our provincial army has finally started getting supplied with tanks. Isn't it exciting? Armored cars can't hope to compete with tanks in terms of firepower, after all. And we can't let the imperial army be stronger than us forever. I see. The fort also appears to have been fortified quite significantly. Ah, yes. Some rather sizable construction work was carried out just last month. It'll take more than a little cannon fire to damage these walls now. Our anti-air defenses are going to be strengthened in the near future, too. This should soon become a fort we soldiers of the Kreutzen province can truly be proud of. You can count on that. I will. And with that, I believe we are done here. We should take our leave. Okay. It is almost evening, after all. Roger that. Crossbell or the Republic, maybe I could understand. But why does the provincial army here need state-of-the-art tanks? 
Not to mention anti-air defenses and countless other fortifications. It's utter madness. Machias. He makes a good point. Can you truly be so ignorant? This is the reality of the present situation within the Empire. Tensions between Osborne's reformist faction and our noble faction grow worse by the day. Though admittedly, it's been happening mostly under the surface, away from the eyes of the general populace. But this is just one of the many ways that conflict is manifesting itself. I'd heard rumors, but... No doubt my father was the one who ordered these fortifications. I have no intention of giving any comments of my own on his decision. But if you wish to lodge a complaint, I'm quite happy to listen. So? No, it's fine. The sun's going down. We should get back to Berehard. Yeah. Let's go then. This monster seems dangerous. Be careful. neutralized. back. Oh, my feet are killing me.
breeze here feels wonderful. <laughs> the food was delicious, too. Agreed. I can see why this restaurant is popular with the nobles. Do you dine here often, Yusis? I do. The chef has been good to me since I was a child. I was practically raised on this food. How typical. Even in your dining habits, you nobles subsist on unnecessary luxury. Though I can't deny the quality of the food. It wasn't just tasty, but warm, too. Yes. For a high-class restaurant, the chef seems to have used a lot of very healthy ingredients. Perhaps he's doing his part to ensure Yusis stays in good health. I wouldn't doubt it. I, I wonder what Group B is doing right now. <laughs> we had this exact same conversation in our group last month, too. I'm sure they're hard at work over in St. Ark. Probably nothing to worry about. It was Keldic for you last month, right? So you were thinking of us on the first night? Yeah. After dinner, we were wondering how Group B was getting on. Dare I ask? Uh, well... Nowhere near as peacefully as now. This is a big improvement. I... kind of figured that much. We are doing much better this time. That much is true. Huh? And I'm sure our reports will reflect that. It is an improvement, though I'm not convinced it's good enough. It... it's not? I'm certain Group B gave their absolute best in all of their tasks today. But can we honestly say the same? That we could have done no better? And I'm referring not just to the monster encounter, but to the handling of our other tasks as well. Hmm. We'll just have to try and make up for it in the day we have left. Besides, we have the chance to catch sight of a far bigger problem. Yes, that's true. First we find out taxes are rising throughout the province. Then we find out the military is being expanded on a grand scale. Don't even try to tell me the two aren't related. I have no intention of denying it. But you're only looking at one side of the coin. Exactly how many Oxen tanks do you think the Imperial Army has under their control? Well... A hundred or two, I'd guess. Precisely. The Imperial Army's military capabilities are enormous. This nation has one of the most powerful armed forces on the continent and roughly 70% of it is under the Chancellor's control. Tell me, how is the Noble Alliance supposed to counter that? So you're suggesting that's why the Provincial Army needs to bolster its forces? Considering both sides are comprised of Erebonians, it all seems so wasteful. Ah, oh, the travails of youth! How noble and beautiful they are! It's you! Baron Blue Blanc, I believe? <laughs> it's such an honor that you would remember a mere baron. I see you completed a hard day's work already. How splendid! Yes, nearly. What about you? Alas, I have yet to be blessed with the fateful encounter I seek. The search for beauty is filled with perils and obstacles. Yet that is precisely what makes it all so beautiful. Well, I hope you enjoy the rest of your stay. <laughs> I most certainly will. Though it truly is a pity that the clear air of this verdant city should be tinged, if but faintly, with the scent of steel. <laughs> I'd heard that Duke Alborea was a man of many interests, but I was unaware he counted playing with fire among them. I don't care. Damn him for it, though, for only by playing with fire can one create fireworks. Would you not agree, my friends? I don't like your implications. And I think this whole line of conversation is a little inappropriate. Oh, please do pardon me, young lady. I meant no harm, I assure you. I wish you well on your remaining day here. May you reveal to me the beauty I seek by its end, be it the lovely luster of success, or the sad splendor of failure. <sighs> Who does he think he is? This is why I can't stand nobles. <laughs> I thought you might say that. If it makes you feel better, though, I have my doubts as to whether that man truly is a noble to begin with. What? His behavior seems so exaggerated. Almost as if he's trying to act like the quintessential noble. Like he's fulfilling the stereotype. Yeah, something about him feels off to me, too. But what's even stranger is that he knew we only have one day left here. It, you're right. 
We told him of our field study, but never once did we divulge how long we intended to remain here. Between him and that silver object, we've been crossing paths with a lot of strange people today. Well, tomorrow's the end of our stint here. We can't let ourselves get distracted. We still have a lot to do. That's right. We have to do our group proud. <laughs> exactly. We should return to the hotel and begin work on our reports then. <sighs> Can't get to sleep? I could ask you the same. You aren't going to tell me the bed's too hard for you, are you? <laughs> I wouldn't dream of it. I've never slept in a bed this high class in my life. Not even back at home. And yet you're the son of Baron Schwarzer. You've not lived the life one might expect of a boy from a noble family. Yeah, that's just how my dad is. A lord should live like his people, not above them. That's how he always put it. I see. It sounds as though you have a good family. Yeah, I'm very thankful for my upbringing. Aren't you going to ask? I assumed you'd be curious about that brief exchange with my father earlier. I wasn't really sure you'd want me to bring that up. You obviously get along really well with your brother, but... I didn't get that same sense with the Duke. Has he... Always been like that? As far back as I can remember. I suppose he just has little respect for a son born to a commoner. What? My brother and I have different mothers. He was born of my father's legal wife, a noble who still lives to this day. My own mother, however, was a commoner, and she passed away eight years ago. In other words, I am his bastard son. I had no idea. So, was that chef we met earlier? He's my uncle, on my mother's side. Perhaps that's why he's always been so good to me. Or perhaps he's simply compelled to treat me as I deserve to be treated, being the son of the Duke. No, that can't be. I don't blame you for being a little cynical, but there's no need to be quite so hard on yourself. I suppose you're right. I'm... I'm sure you have your differences. But you do get along with your brother, right? You could say that. He's treated me well ever since I was taken in eight years ago. He was the one who taught me my swordsmanship, and who trained me in the ways of court etiquette. <laughs> I knew it. Pardon? There's just something honest, I guess you could say, about the way you fight. It shows that whoever taught you was someone you really trusted. When we first met him this afternoon, I had a hunch he might have been the one. What's wrong? <laughs> Nothing at all. You just keep reminding me how unlike a noble you truly are. <laughs> I get that a lot. Is your injury from this afternoon on the mend? It's fine, honestly. There's no pain, and the wound's closed up like it was never there. I'll have to be sure to thank Emma's grandmother for her help someday. That's good to hear. Still, from where I stand, you are something of a danger to yourself. I... Am? On the day of the entrance ceremony, when the trap door opened beneath us, you acted instantly to protect Elisa. It wasn't even a moment's hesitation. Ah. In most cases, one would reflexively act to protect himself. It's part of man's natural survival instinct. Yet you put another before yourself, not even pausing to question the validity of that decision. And you did exactly the same thing with us today. I'm sure most people would see that as an act of selflessness and sing your praises for it. But to me, it comes across as... abnormal. Perhaps even twisted. <laughs> I, uh... don't know how to respond to that. I wasn't expecting you to see through me quite so... clearly. Well, I owed you as much for having seen through me first. Still, the point stands. You need to be more cognizant of the effects your actions have on those around you. If not for your health and for your reputation that selflessness of yours can just as easily be perceived as arrogance after all i know it can and you're not the first person to tell me that 
What's the point in saving others if you can't spare even a moment to save yourself? That's what my old master always used to say to me. Was it now? <laughs> <laughs> I suppose we both have some things we need to work through. Yeah, but for now, we need to get a good night's sleep. If we stay up too late tonight, we're going to be dead to the world tomorrow. And that wouldn't be fair to the others. <laughs> I agree, wouldn't be fair. To the girls, at least. I'd hate to be so tired as to limit my potential. Here, here. Good night, Yusis. Pleasant dreams. Drinks are on me someday. Yusis Alp... What is it, Machias Regnitz? I will accept no more failures. Today, we will form a combat link. What? As much as I may dislike you, I'm ashamed that we were unable to do what every other member of our class has accomplished. Today's monster extermination request seems as good a chance as any to make up for yesterday's failure. What did you say? You really are simple-minded, aren't you? I suppose you overheard our conversation last night and feel some kind of affinity toward me now? N nonsense I did no such thing! I was fast asleep while you yammered on about your family and Reen and... Duh. Machias. <laughs> That's pretty conclusive. <sighs> Very well. I accept. I'll be happy to show you what a proper combat link looks like. <laughs> we'll see about that. Fortunately, I have more than enough generosity of spirit to endure being paired with an arrogant noble like you. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe today's field study will go more smoothly than yesterday's after all. Lord Eusus. Arno? What brings you here? I would have expected you to be at my father's side. I'm terribly sorry I could not greet you upon your arrival yesterday. However, I have come today in the capacity of an escort. An escort? To where? I'm sure you must be aware that I returned to Bereahard purely as part of a field study for my academy work. But of course, however, His Grace has directly requested that I escort you to the mansion. So I would be most appreciative if you'd accompany me without delay. Father? He showed no signs of desiring my company when we spoke yesterday. I am in no position to question or oppose his orders, merely to obey them. I'm sure you understand. Though while I hesitate to speculate, I do wonder if His Grace may feel some regret regarding his demeanor yesterday. I... Uh, but... Go with him. We can attempt to form a combat link another time. We'll be able to handle the morning's tasks just fine on our own. Don't worry about us. Huh. You've come all the way back to your hometown. It would be a shame not to visit with your family, right? Agreed. Uh, are you certain? Very well. I'll return this afternoon. And though I will worry as to how you'll fare without me, I know you'll at least give it your best, for what that's worth. <laughs> of course we will. All right. Let's meet back in the hotel lobby around noon. If something comes up, just leave a message at the front desk. Understood. Lead the way, Arno. Gladly, sir. Please excuse us. Well, let's get started. We wouldn't want to give Yusis any further reason to worry, now would we? Huh, certainly not. Still... What? What is it? If you have something to say, just say it. 
<laughs> oh, it's nothing. Nothing at all. She's probably thinking, the worst is over, and it's all thanks to your eavesdropping. Good boy. Just stop that! Just stop looking at me like I'm some hapless babe! Rain, you do know I still haven't completely forgiven you for lying, don't you? Are you still hung up on that? And Emma, I hope you're ready to score second in our midterms because I'm not about to lose to you again. But don't even think about giving those exams any less than your very best. I intend to best you when you're in top form. <laughs> you will? And as for you, Fee, I've been wanting to say this for a long time now. Sleeping in class is an affront to our education. You need to start treating classes more seriously. Listen, take proper notes. Raise your hand now and then. And stop covering your ears when I'm talking to you. I can't hear you. <laughs> anyway, we've got a lot to do, so how about we get to it? <laughs> right. That one looks annoying. Watch out.
dangerous foe. Stay on guard.
Hostile spotted. Here we go. Beginning combat. There. It's my to get that. I'll handle it. Okay. Yes. Okay. Here we go. It's my to get that. All right. Let's keep done. My turn. Target box. My turn. There. It's my take that. Okay. Yes. My turn. Target's eliminated. Enemy sighted. Let's my take turn. Them out. There. Leave it to me. Oh. Okay. Okay. Yes. Okay. Uh, uh, my turn. Uh, right. There. It's my turn. Uh, oh, we should be safe. Enemy sighted. Let's take them out. There. Now's the chance. Okay. Okay. Here. Okay. Uh, right. Get that. Okay. Uh, Target's eliminated. Let's get going. Right. My turn. Take them out. Target Here we go. There. Okay. No. Right. How about this? My turn. Target box. Here we go. There. That's back. Let's keep moving. That one, all right. See?
It's my turn. Okay. Right. I'll do this. Target's eliminated.
Hostile spotted. I'll handle it. Target box. Here we go. There. Yeah. I'll handle it. Go. Okay. Oh, we should be safe. Kind of thing you'd expect in an old ruin like this. Do you think it's powered by the water flowing through here? Certainly didn't expect to encounter the three of you down here. What? Is that... Yusis? I'm so glad you're safe. Of course I am. Though I can't say I was expecting to be placed under house arrest the moment I returned to the mansion. So that's what happened. You know what's going on? Unfortunately, arresting the Imperial Governor's son under a false charge in order to keep the reformist faction under control. I find it hard to believe my father would attempt something so brazen. He didn't have any intention of talking to me. Not the slightest inclination. This was all planned from the start. Use this. Enough about me. Thanks to my brother, I'm familiar with the general layout of this waterway. I'll lead us to the guardhouse. Let's get moving. You're actually... You were planning on saving him even if you had to do it alone, weren't you? Nothing like last month's field study. <laughs> Don't get the wrong idea. I just can't condone my father's actions. Besides, he's no doubt huddled up, crying and lonely in the corner of his cell right now. It's worth rescuing him just to see that. <laughs> All right, let's get moving. The entrance to the guardhouse is to the west. We should hurry.
ladder so long. Is it harder to climb ladders when you've got a big chest? <laughs> Fee! Here they come! Be My careful, turn. everyone! Target box! Go! Go! All right! Let's do this! Yeah! Gleaming the dog! Now! There! Very well. Because... I'll handle it. Here! My turn! There! I'll handle it. Target box! Yeah! Here! My turn! We'll oh. cut our own path! I my turn. Target box. Go. I'll handle this. It's my turn. Ugh. I'll handle it. Go. 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 You're done. Very well. What a waste of time. Let's go. Door. There should be a mechanism to open it somewhere nearby. We'll have to fight our way okay. through. Here we go. Here we go. That one, all right. See. Treasure chest. Treasure. Uh, I'm exhausted. It's gotta be the chest. Fee, that's enough. Honestly. Explain yourself, please. Ignition. What? What? 
Done. D done? Fee, did you? Was that a bomb? Portable high powered explosive. Plasticity makes it handy for this kind of espionage work. E explosive? Where could you possibly have gotten such a thing? Fee, I think at this point we have a right to know. What exactly is your background? Re On the day of the entrance ceremony, I saw you dodging that trap floor the rest of us fell into. You're two years younger than us, yet you're physically no weaker at all. In fact, I'd say when it comes to combat situations, you seem almost like you're holding back. Impossible. Guess you got me. Before I came to the Academy, I was a Jaeger. That's where I learned how to handle explosives and use my gun swords. That's all. A Jaeger? I wasn't expecting that. I've heard that term before. The best of the best mercenary outfits are known as Jaeger Corps. Jaeger Corps are almost synonymous with the Grim Reaper. Do you think I'd be going to school with a Jaeger? Me? A Reaper? No, that's that's not... That... I spoke out of turn. I mustn't let prejudices get the better of me. That's right. Knowing her past doesn't change who she is now. Thanks for telling us, Fee. And I'm sorry for pride. Not bothered. But we should hurry if we want to save Machias. Yeah, you're right. All right, let's press onward. This looks like the place. Looks like an underground prison, all right. Indeed. It must be here somewhere. Am I hearing things? Machias! And still in one piece, by the sound of it. What are you all doing here? There's no way the Provincial Army would just let me go. You didn't sneak in, did you? We came in through the underground waterway. I'll open the cell. How are you going to... What the... We'll explain when we have more time. Yeah, right now we need to get away from here before we're caught. As long as we can make it back to the city, we should be able to bluff our way out of any further trouble. Right! Thanks. I've resigned myself to being stuck in there for a while. I must admit, though, I'm surprised you, of all people, would come to my aid. <laughs> I only came to get a glimpse at your tear-stained face. Plus, I thought this might be a good opportunity to pay back my father. I see. What? Voices? Damn. <sighs> it's... Oh, Lord Eusis? As much as I would love to praise you for a job well done, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to take a short rest. Huh? <sighs> Let's clean house. Roger that. Right. Hostile spotted. My turn. Target box. Go. There. My turn. Yeah. Here. My turn. My turn. Go. It's my turn. Yeah. My turn. My turn. <laughs> my turn. Okay. Yeah. Okay. okay. Go. <laughs> okay. It's safe for now. If I hadn't been so careless, this would never have happened. There wasn't much.
We're surrounded. You're very well trained. Cats? No, no, dogs. They're like dogs. Your family's army employs monsters like this? No one ever told me. They aren't going to let us past, are they? <clears throat> Pretty smart for beasts. So we'll just have to take him down. Indeed. Bad dogs require stern discipline. Time to wrap up this month's field study. Class 7, Group A. Commence attack on the targets. Kate. All right. Don't let it intimidate This you. might actually be a challenge. Good. My turn. Right. How about this? My turn. There. My turn. My turn. Target box. My turn. There. My turn. Leave it to me. How about this? Very well. tough uh, I thought we were done for <laughs> I have no intention of letting filthy beasts get the better of me trained or otherwise <laughs> <laughs> honestly now this is no laughing matter you know <laughs> look who's talking you're grinning like an idiot not as much as you are there they go I don't think we could have wrapped this month's field study up more perfectly if we tried we were all able to form combat links with one another, too. Damn. We're not through the woods just yet, it would seem. <sighs> it's like the end of the road. You've pushed your luck one step too far this time! Are you that desperate to be thrown in a cell with Regnitz? If you want to arrest us, go right ahead. Lord Eusis! What are you doing here? I thought you'd been locked in the mansion. I chose to return to my studies. Well, what's it to be? Accusing my classmates of this crime will implicate me as well. Uh, we... We couldn't possibly point our rifles at Lord Eusis. Silence! Not even Lord Eusis has the right to trespass in a military facility, much less to release a suspect in our custody, directly opposing the orders of His Grace the Duke. Enough! We may not be the best of friends, but I am Yusis Albarea. I will not simply stand by and watch as one of my classmates is arrested under false charges and used in a tool in some political war. The Lord Yusis. Yusis? <laughs> we have our orders, and nothing you say will change that. Disarm them, men! Lord Yusis included. That will not be necessary. What? Impossible. Lord Rufus? Lord Rufus? We'd heard you were in the capital. How? Why are you... 
I received a message from the Academy at noon today, and I returned by airship as quickly as I could. With your instructor. What? Looks like you've all done a fine job. Instructor Sarah? What are you doing here? I've been filled in on the circumstances, more or less. I'll take care of matters here. You all return to your posts at once. But, Lord Rufus, with, with all due respect... I've already informed my father. Or do you intend to embarrass me beyond your other transgressions? No, of course not. Second company, withdraw! Sir, please, excuse us. Oh, my. Well, you can tell they're well-trained, if nothing else. The Provincial Army takes its training very seriously, of course. Though I resent the mere notion that it could be misused so grievously. I'm sure you do. So, what brings you here, Instructor? Seriously, why are you here? Your timing is a little too convenient. Did you come after receiving word from the Provincial Army? Nope. I actually heard about what was happening a little earlier from a friend of mine. As soon as the news reached my ears, I shot to my feet and got right in contact with the Director here. And he was kind enough to give me a ride on his airship back from the capital. I don't know what to say. Honestly, you seem to be prepared for virtually everything. Uh, wait a second. Director? Oh, you don't know yet, do you? I also serve as a permanent member of the Academy's Board of Directors. Perhaps we'll have the opportunity to meet again in that capacity. The Board of Directors? Why is this the first I'm hearing of this? <laughs> I decided to keep it a secret so I could see the look on your face when you found out. I'm not the only member of the board, though, of course. I'm simply one of three permanent members. That explains why you knew so much about Class 7. Way too well prepared. Still, I had no idea my father would attempt something so foolish while I was away. He's always been an obstinate man, but he's simply gone too far this time. As a member of the Academy's board, I cannot remotely condone the unlawful arrest of a student. Rufus, thank you for your concern. So that's class seven, eh? A little rough around the edges, but they managed to get through in one piece. I think I see now why you're so fixated on them, Sarah. And Rufus Alborea. I've heard people say he's the sharpest noble of the bunch, but still. What business could he possibly have over by the canyon so early in the morning? Is that what you were about to ask? Who are you? <laughs> Pay me no mind. I'm but a low-ranking noble. I've been watching over those young students to see what they're capable of, much like yourself. Really, now? You'll forgive me for asking, but you look awfully like someone a couple of acquaintances mentioned to me a long time ago. You wouldn't happen to have some fancy-sounding stage name or anything, would you? Ha-ha! <laughs> You'll just have to find that out on your own. Your acquaintances wouldn't be a certain innocent young couple from a foreign land, though, would they? You'll just have to find that out on your own. Indeed. Well, if you'll please excuse me, it's almost time for the airship to depart, and I really must be getting back to Heimdall. May we meet again, young Bracer. Do give my regards to the Purple Lightning, if you would. As if the situation weren't messy enough, it seems we've got another source of trouble on our hands now. I'd better let the others know, just in case. <sighs> and you call yourselves teenagers. Unlike me, you actually get to go to sleep every night. You should be full of energy by this point in the day. Give me a break. 
Considering all that's happened this weekend, I think we can be forgiven for being a little tired. Well, that's certainly true enough. Group B had their fair share of problems to deal with as well, but they weren't quite as serious as yours. Although they were of a similar nature. What do you mean exactly? Did they also wind up getting involved in a conflict between the two factions? More or less. St. Ark is another territory belonging to one of the four great houses, after all. So they got themselves caught up in a bit of trouble. The four of them managed to get through it together in the end, though. Well, that's good. <sighs> that's a relief, yeah. But, Sarah, just what kind of mirror did they pour into buffing up Orox Ford anyway? What we saw was nuts. So I've heard. And the Provincial Army isn't the only force trying to improve its armaments. The Imperial Army is doing the same with the Blood and Iron Chancellor and his 20 armored divisions squarely at the center. Really? <clears throat> how should the Military Academy... How should we act in a situation like this? Thor's graduates join both the Provincial and Imperial Armies, right? That's nothing you need to be worrying about. Not right now, at least. You're at the Academy to learn. That's all you should be focusing on. While you're there, it's true that you may be forced to acknowledge some of the more unpleasant realities of Erebonia. But I believe there's something special to be gained from that. Something you can only gain now, at this moment in time. So long as you're together with your friends and classmates. People for whom there is no substitute. Uh, uh... Maybe when you graduate and go out into the world, much of what you've learned at Thor's will have little meaning. But I still truly believe that sometime, somehow, what you experience as part of Class 7 will be an invaluable treasure to you. It may not seem that way now, but I know in my heart that it will someday. Instructor. <laughs> <laughs> you almost had me there for a moment. <laughs> that was the last thing I ever thought I'd hear from you. What's with all the laughing? I, I, I'm really sorry. You, your words were quite touching, but... Coming out of your mouth, they were just... Painfully droll. Something we can only gain now, at this moment in time. So long as we're with our friends and classmates, for whom there is no substitute. <laughs> Stop that! Are you trying to kill me? You kids are awful. I was being serious, you know. Why must this instructor thing be so difficult sometimes? Oh, looks like they got back okay. So glad I didn't have to bust in and save them. <laughs> I thought it was all over when I got spotted at the fort, though. Hey, hey, White Rabbit here! Uh-huh. Everything went a-okay. Uh, don't sweat the details. I did what I was supposed to. No sign of them, though, but I did find a bunch of other interesting stuff. What? Fake intel? Someone managed to get a leg up on you and Gramps? Must have been one heck of a guy. Huh? Me? I'm gonna go meet up with Claire now. Gotcha! See you then, Lecter. Hmm. I wonder what that military academy they mentioned is all about. <laughs> Sounds kind of fun. Lammy! Yep, yep, we're done here. Let's get going, Aragetlum. <laughs>